Today's Fix It Friday was about titration results table. There are three big problems with this table. Let's see if you could spot them all. One problem was in the volume added row. Every heading in your results table needs units, so they should also be centimeter cubed written there, even though it's a titration value that you're getting by taking away the other two values. Now that's a fairly minor error compared to the next one. The decimal places in this table are all over the place. Let's have a look at a burette. We measure the volume at the bottom of the meniscus, which in this diagram, we can have a look here and see that that reads at 38.1 centimeters cubed. Fine. But you can also see that I could just as easily see a reading that's halfway between the two readings. So the divisions on a burette are 0.1 centimeter cubed, but it is possible here to see if the liquid was just in between those two lines, which would be 0.05. So this is why we record burette readings to 0.05 to the nearest 0.05 centimeters cubed. It's showing how accurate we can be. Because if I just write one decimal place, then what I'm saying is that my reading is 38.1 and that the reading is somewhere between 38.0 and 38.2. That's what I'm saying when I put my reading as just 38.1. But actually, I know that my reading is somewhere between 38.05 and 38.15. So by adding that extra decimal place, I'm just showing how much more accurate I can be and record my burette readings to two decimal places always. And the second decimal place can only be zero or five because I can't be any more accurate than halfway between a reading. So let's have a look at all the volumes that need fixing. So on the top row, we need to put a zero on here on the middle row. So sometimes you'll get away with it on your start volume, but really you need to be putting them everywhere. So that's consistent. Even though this is a rough value, I might still be using it. It still needs to be the same number of decimal places. That row there, the 19, where it's the difference between the two values, that is where you're most likely to lose your decimal places because you pop that in your calculator and you get a round number as your answer. And of course, your calculator doesn't know how many decimal places to put. And then there is one more error with this table. And that is that this value in the second column is in fact wrong. If I actually take 19.1 from 37.85, I get 18.75. Well done if you spotted that, because it means that you actually checked the calculation rather than assuming it was right. So when I tell students to check their calculations or their working, often they just look over it and go, yeah, that looks that looks right. Instead of actually putting the numbers back into the calculator to see whether it was really the right answer or not. So that's it for this one. If you want to know more, remember there's practice exam style questions and videos on my website, including some more videos about how to do more complicated titration calculations. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more A-level chemistry tips and revision materials.